Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we have Shadow World. I've been winning this game for a while. I always read the reviews and they're pretty bad. Or like very mediocre, like how gameplay works, I guess. But again, it was four bucks at the Toy Expo. Uh, the art, I really like the art. It reminds me of old TSR art uh, from the uh, 80s, Dungeons and Dragons days, which I really do like. So the ultimate struggle for the ultimate prize. So it's an okay condition. It's a little beat up. Yeah, it's pretty beat up actually. But this cover's still intact, which is the main thing for me. Let's take a look at it here. There's gonna be an unboxing. And hopefully uh, all the pieces are there. So <laughs> looks like it is. Uh you got some seasons greetings wrap over here. So it looks like it's well taken care of, at least on that side. Uh instruction booklet. Give that cool cover art. This is two to four players. All right. Got defenders, captives, duels, winning battles. All right. Looks like some cool stuff. And you have the legend of Star Lord. A little bit of lore. Great man. Rule the galaxies of the universe. Call him the Star Lord. All right. Let's check out some of these cards. Take them in back to where they belong here. So it looks like these are kind of character cards. I guess have power on here. So these character cards look like they have different numbers. Yeah. So we got threes, Laney. Then Randy back there, Bernhard, Astrid, Vigo. Again, I do like this art. Um, some of it's not that great. <laughs> but actually, this art is not as good as the cover art, that's for sure. You got a little lazy. Kind of reminds me of like the, uh, <clears throat> the avatars you pick on the PC games. For Dungeons and Dragons, like Gold Box era, and these are just number cards. Okay, so let me just acquire these to add up power. They're all number cards. We got some red ones there, green. I'm not sure of the colors. The colors probably do correspond. With these stands. We got some eight-sided dice. This is kind of cool. Um, That of these little markers, Count Gwyneth, the Iron Claw attacks. Now oh, we got a phase card here. Special events, discover character disc, receive spaceships. That's cool. Uh, I believe this thing flips over and becomes part of the game. Uh, let's look at the board. I like a better spot for these cards. Let's start. That's pretty cool. So you have like a star map. So the cover looks like fantasy. But when you open it up, it's more like a future fantasy uh, mix or fusion. You got castles here. Then you have. Some kind of like space junk satellite and this side here like a pyramid over there um, a spaceship down in the corner pretty cool stuff so I do want to play it so hopefully I'll get around to it I got around playing a board game like this in quite a while this looks like it's probably about 84. It's like an 80, maybe like a some like early 80s game. Let's see what it says here. Let's see right there. 1983. Easy enough. A quick unboxing of Shadow Lord. Getting that cover school. 